Welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. Today's video is an Aldi haul with prices. This video is specifically going to be in relation to my next five meals for under £25 from Aldi. If you didn't know already, I'm currently filming a series where I'm creating, making, buying, cooking five meals that you can make in a week um, that all come to under £25. All of these meals or 95% of these meals always cater to at least four people so it's generally a family unit and you can add or take away blah 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 um so i've linked the other five for 25 pound videos down below for you today's video is actually just going to be the haul with price breakdown and just showing you how i've meal planned and got to less than 25 pounds i've got my receipts and stuff sounds very official i've got my receipts it'd be much easier to do this because it's quite difficult to squeeze everything into the cooking video make it a reasonable length so people watch the whole thing um and yeah it's just easier if i just explain in a separate video and then we cook in the next video so the next video that's going live on this channel is uh, my cooking five meals for under 25 pounds yeah i'm really excited if you're new to my channel hello welcome subscribe because i'm currently running a series of five meals for under 25 pounds from aldi i am thinking of doing this with other supermarkets i mean it's limited i'm gonna struggle if i want to go to like ms or waitrose and do five meals for under 25 pounds but actually I'm very competitive in nature and that sounds like a very good challenge. But yeah, let's get on with the haul price breakdown. Use the uh, SUL, sweaty upper lip. Um, are you part of that society? Because I so am. It is the hottest day on record in the UK, I believe. Um, and I've decided to film today, so well done, Sophie. So the next episode of my five meals for under 25 pounds is going to be slow cooker edition i know it's very very hot at the moment it's summer so i'm going to be making all of these as summer dishes i think people associate slow cooking with autumn and winter and that's great because you can make amazing stews in the autumn and winter in your slow cooker however a slow cooker is actually a very good thing to use throughout summer as well i'll tell you why because um it creates much less heat than the oven does you aren't um in your kitchen chopping up putting things in like your saucepans with boiling hot water opening and closing the oven doors the grill so it's actually a really much better way to cook in the summer using your slow cooker and whilst electric bills seem to have quadrupled i am doing everything i can to reduce my electricity bill and cooking in a slow cooker does that if you want me to link my slow cooker down below i will um what i will say is you don't need a big fancy pants expensive one you just need one that works so it's going to be slow cooker week i'm going to start off by reading the first meal on my to make list so the first thing we're going to be making is slow cooker cider pork pulled pork and apple coleslaw burgers so for that i will read out all the ingredients we're going to need plus what i've already got and i class as cupboard essentials or pantry essentials um so the first thing pork obviously so if you're doing if you're going to be doing this you need a, a pork shoulder joint and um, because that's the best thing for slow cooking we get our pork from a local butchers it's just personal choice but from aldi we did get the price of their pork joints so four pounds 79 for a 1.5 kilogram pork shoulder joints from aldi so you're going to need four pounds 79 as part of the budget so ours was a little bit more expensive than that but that's because we chose to get this piece of meat from the butchers and um, so it's going to be four pounds 79 you want one that's going to feed at least four people because this is actually going to be making at least two separate meals it's going to make up to eight meals so it's going to last you a while it's quite economical in that way and um, so you need your roast pork you need a four pack of baps and we've just gone for the four white baps from aldi this week uh, these baps were 65p you're also going to need some cider doesn't need to be expensive stuff this was just some of the cheapest stuff um, on the aldi shelf this cider was um 89p so really cheap less than a pound 89p you will be pouring this whole bottle in um, and you're only using half the pork joint for this and um, so you're only using about £2.50-ish, £2.60 worth of the pork joint for this dinner by the way. So Irish cider, we just picked up this one from Aldi, 79p. If you don't want to add alcohol specifically to your dish, you can add apple cider vinegar 
and some demerara sugar. So for the slaw, you're going to need some onions, two white onions. These are the everyday essential onions, or are they the wonky ones? The wonky ones, the wonky onions from Aldi, and these are 49p, and you're going to be using onions in various other dishes throughout this slow cooker series. So what I find doing the best is if you're meal planning for the week, meal plan, if you really fancy like one particular dinner like chicken fajitas, make sure you've meal planned that the rest of that week you're going to be eating something else that can incorporate peppers in, onions in, and maybe even chicken if you have leftover chicken, because it's very rare you use a whole bag of onions or a whole bag of peppers for one dish. Um, so that's just my little tip for you. We're going to be using a couple of Granny Smith green apples. They are more tart, so you kind of want to use the green apples in my opinion, because you are going to be adding some sweetness in there. These are £1.39 for these six, and you're going to be using about two. Also going to be adding some carrots, some grated carrots into your um, coleslaw, which you're going to be eating with your burgers. And the carrots, 24p, 24p for all of these. And you're going to be using two, maybe three at the most. Um, and then we're going to be using some of these for some other recipes we've got later in the week. And then the rest of the ingredients that's going to go into the apple cider pork, I personally class as cupboard essentials, pantry essentials, stuff that is always in your house. So that is olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of ground ginger, a little bit of ground coriander and then mayonnaise for the coleslaw you can add vegan mayonnaise or you can add yogurt instead i'm just i think i'm going to use normal mayonnaise because that's all we've got in the fridge and a little bit of apple cider vinegar that doesn't have to go into a coleslaw we've got it in the cupboard so i'm no doubt going to add that into my coleslaw recipe i think i've done an instagram video of my coleslaw recipe actually which i will link down below um, but yeah, the rest of the ingredients for that whole dinner are going to be cupboard essentials, things that we normally have in the cupboards and fridges. That meal, I'm really looking forward to making that and showing you how to make it. Okay, the next meal that's... I'm sorry, I'm so sweaty. The next meal that's going to be in uh, my 5 for under 25 slow cooker recipes is going to be slow cooker vegetarian rice vegetarian rice, vegetarian chili and rice. The main ingredient in the veggie chili and rice is the Aldi plant menu vegan mince. I have tried it before, it's absolutely fine, especially with a dish like this, because you're going to bulk it out with other stuff. It doesn't have too much flavor, but you add lots of flavor to this stuff anyway, so it's absolutely fine. Meat-free mince is £1.19. You do not have to use the entire bag, because we are going to be adding kidney beans, which really bulks it out, and it still makes enough for four. I'm probably just gonna use the entire bag because this is all for me, it's really good for, and um, the chili. So if I do have any leftover, I will freeze it. Also going to be adding some celery sticks into that, just really finely chopping celery into it, it gives it a really nice savory flavor. The celery is 43p from Aldi. We're going to be adding a whole pepper into it, maybe even two, depending on how much of the mince we use. Um, but a whole pepper. These peppers actually look quite good this week from Aldi. Normally they're quite hit and miss, have to say. Um, but mixed peppers from Aldi, we always get three. You can only really get a three bag from Aldi. They don't do loose peppers. Slightly annoying. <laughs> um, but we're using pepper in a different dish later on in the week. The peppers from Aldi, I think they've put peppers down as sugar snap peas. Don't ask me why. Okay, either they didn't scan the peppers and we got some free peppers, <laughs> or they've put them down as something else. But I believe they're 95p. I'm going to put something on the screen just to clear that up. We're going to be needing a few of these onions, which were 49p, as I said, and that uses more of the onions. We're going to be using a couple, maybe three more of these carrots, which were only 24p. Um, we're going to be using some tinned stuff. So red kidney beans, this really bulks out chili and kidney beans have like packed with iron. They're really good for you. So I do like to add them as much as I can into dishes. It means 59p for that tin. We've also got chopped tomatoes, 38p for that tin. I always find like the chopped tomatoes at Aldi are so cheap. Although I know they used to be 24p, I actually remember buying them like two years ago and thinking, oh, only 24p, these are great, I stocked up. And now they're 38p, that was expensive. Um, and just, I always get just classic basmati rice. I find it cooks the best and is more versatile flavored for like all different rice um, dishes. One kilogram, one pound 55, and you will only be using 
this much of it, well, me and Lawrence will, we'll only be using a small amount of it. So per portion, you're actually using a lot less than £1.19 for the rice. Um, but the full bag of rice is included in the cost. With our vegetarian chili, we also have some cupboard essentials which aren't included in the price, which we have, um, and I am going to assume lots of other people have, and that's going to be things like olive oil, smoked paprika or some kind of chili powder something with a little bit of heat and smokiness maybe some bit of ground coriander um, but that's about it really it's really easy throw together kind of dish and we're going to serve it with rice i might change my mind when i'm filming the video and serve it with taco chips uh like doritos but the aldi version which are like 20p for the bag and a little bit of grated cheese and um, if I do that, I'm going to clarify in the food video. So the next thing we're doing is we are going to be doing slow cooker chicken shawarma. Um, if you've seen one of my recent videos, I had a chicken shawarma and now I'm really into them again. First things first, chicken for the chicken shawarma. Um, if you're slow cooking chicken, it's actually best to get chicken thigh fillets, which are boneless and skinless. Um, because they'll go really soft and easy to shred. We're going to be shredding this chicken. I would normally have got the small packet of chicken or the medium packet, but they only had large in the store today. I assume that's because we've got, we're in a heat wave and there wasn't much in stock anyway. The price of the chicken I'm going to include is £3.69. It does say more on this. Um, where is it? So chicken thigh fillets, £4.49 was this pack. But if you're making this just for four people, you only need the medium pack, which is £3.69. So I'm going to cross that off and add £3.69. Um, I'm being really analytical here. Sweaty up there. Couple of these onions. Um, also, I'm just going to fry the chicken up with a bit of celery at first before I slow cook it. Um, we need some pepper, a pepper, so you're going to use these peppers again. And then the rest of it is going to be cupboard essentials. So you're going to need smoked paprika, cumin, some chili, and if I've left anything else, I'm going to tell you it up here. And you're also going to need some olive oil. And um, yeah, that's going to be chicken shawarma night. The next dish is going to be slow cooker noodle pork noodles and um, so honey pork noodles so it's actually a really delicious dish and it's super duper easy so you're going to use the other half of the pork joint that we bought we're going to need some dried egg noodles i would normally actually get the fresh ones to be honest which are in the fridge because they are really nice um but i got the dried because i'm not sure we're going away soon and i'm not sure when i'm going to be able to make the noodle dish and i don't want them to go off noodles dry 85p you're going to need another pepper you're going to need an onion, a little bit of celery. Honestly, so much of this food like combines this week. And you're also going to be having cupboard essentials here as well. So honey, for me, honey is always in the cupboard because obviously honey never ever goes off. It's actually the only edible thing that never ever goes off. Um, but we've always got some kind of honey in the cupboard and I assume most people do. Um, and some spices, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll list them here. That is a very low maintenance dinner and it's very filling and delicious um, and I'm looking forward to making that and showing you. And the last slow cooker dish I'm making is going to be a coconut lentil curry. The easiest thing you can throw in your slow cooker ever and it's such a high payoff. Um, so the lentils we didn't actually buy because I have like so many lentils. My mum bought me a bag from Costco and they're gonna last the next 10 years. But the lentils from Aldi are price i've lost my phone but they're this price and you're going to need some coconut milk i always get the full fat because i cook for orin as well and full fat natural fats is actually good for you 100 mils uh, 69p for that tin so you just need this and you're going to need some cupboard essentials that onion and then that's it from the ingredients because the rest are cupboard cup cupboard essentials so cumin powder lots and lots of cumin powder coriander powder that's a really low maintenance but healthy dinner lentils are really really delicious and good for you and such a cheap way to make a filling meal and you can serve your dal it's like a dal coconut curry with rice if you want because we're going to have lots of rice left over or you don't have to basically here are the receipts you'd actually have to go to two separate aldis because we are in the hottest day of um is it like ever or at least for the last 30 plus years 
and the Audi I normally go to, its fridges weren't working or they weren't using them, so I had to get some other stuff from the other Audi. Um, but here are the receipts. £8.31 plus £8.32 minus the chicken cost. So these chicken, so minus £4.49 equals, but then we need to plus that other chicken cost. Um, £3.69 so plus £3.69 so we're currently at £15.83 um, the price of the pork from Aldi was £4.79 plus £4.79 equals £20.62 do we need to add anything else? Plus naan breads from Aldi. I didn't buy naan breads from Aldi because we have loads in the freezer and what is the point in rebuying? So Aldi naan bread, 59p. So plus 0.59 equals 21 pound 21. Um, and is there anything else we're going to be adding? I think that's it, but uh, if um, there's anything else that is not a cupboard essential that I need to add into this, I will put it here, possibly the chips. Um, but £21, 21p is the price we have come to for five meals. That is exceptionally good. Um, it's all about meal planning and making sure in that week you've got meals that one can be spread further so you don't really want to buy a whole lot of ingredients and food especially if you're on a budget a whole lot of different ingredients and food that only really makes one meal so much of this is going to make us a huge amount of food i hope that makes sense and i didn't ramble on too much i'm really looking forward to doing this week particularly because it is the same temperature as satan's bedroom right now um so i'm looking forward to not having a sweaty upper lip and also just using the slow cooker to cook meals just because it is extortionally hot and the slow cooker actually makes some delicious meals. So I'm really looking forward to this week's um, video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you're excited for the cooking video. Do I want to say the word video any more times? <laughs> See you guys again really, really soon. Bye.